Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Waldia and I'm happy to finally be back. I was having some technical difficulties for the past couple of weeks, but I was able to figure it out and now I am back and ready to roll out some new videos to you guys. In today's video, I am showing you guys how I was able to achieve this edgy mohawk look by using both bantu knots and also two strand twists. Now you guys know how I feel about hair grease. If you don't check out my previous videos, I have a ton of them um, on hair grease and how my hair really does love Blue Magic and also the Dax. And today I am trying another one and this is the um, Royal Crown Hair Dressing Hair Grease. I also used this when I was a child. So when I saw this at the beauty supply store, I was like, oh, I gotta give this a try as well. After I washed my hair, I applied the uh, leave-in conditioner and then I sealed it with this and also used this as my styling product. And yeah, I'm just loving the results. If you guys wanna see exactly what I did to achieve this edgy, you know what I'm saying, a little different mohawk, keep on watching. Alright guys, so to style my hair, I'm going to do something a little different. Usually I just go with the Bantu knots or the two strand twist, but this time I'm going to do a combination of Bantu knots and twist, and you'll see why in a minute. And just let you know, this is fresh, clean hair, and I did go ahead and um, blow dry my hair on cool setting, of course. We don't do heat damage on this channel. Well, I try not to anyway. Let me not uh, be too souped or well, be too bold about that statement because you never know. But I try not to uh, apply too much heat to my hair. Now for the front section of my hair, I am going to install Bantu knots. And the reason why I'm going to do Bantu knots instead of two strand twist is because I find that when I do two strand twist in the front, especially if I want my hair going this way, um, I don't like hair in my eyes. Like the, the my hair grew a little bit. So when I do a two strand twist, it ends up being like this falling this way. And then I can't see everything's in my eyes. And it's just like, yeah, I have makeup on. It's just a little bit too much. So I feel like by installing Bantu knots in the front curls the hair and it won't be as long. It'll be like, you know, like up here instead of down here. After I do install my Bantu knots in the front, you'll see later on, I am going to uh, undo the Bantu knot, not untwist it, just undo. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Let me just get started. Okay. So here, this is the hair grease. I'm going to open it. All right, come on now. All right, here we go. It smells so good. Just like when I was a little girl. Oh, just reminds me of my childhood. Just like the blue magic, you know what I mean? And of course I have my Jamaican black castor oil just for my scalp. We'll take a little bit of that grease and just apply this to this section. And finger detangle. My hair's already detangled, but I just like to go with my fingers. I'm not gonna use a comb. Then I'm gonna take some Jamaican black castor oil and apply some to my scalp. I like applying uh, my hair grease and my oil in sections like this because I feel like I won't miss sections when I do it this way. I love showing my scalp some love, especially if you have dry scalp, make sure that your scalp is also moisturized. Some people feel like uh, oils and grease clog their pores and clog their scalp. Not me, I, I have no issues with this, so I enjoy it, I, I like doing it. All right, and just start to Two strand twist. You guys know how I like to do my bantu knots, right? I two strand twist first because when I go in and bantu knot, like just start going in bantu knotting, my hair is not as defined as I would like. And then I begin to wrap the hair around itself. So I'm going to put my finger at the base like that and just start wrapping the hair around itself. All right, it's so easy, y'all. And make sure not to do it too tight. And I'm going to undo. Uh, the bantu knot anyway at the end you'll see exactly what I'm doing and the reason why I want to do the front first is because I want the curl to take form I don't want the curls to be too tight so that's why I'm going to undo the bantu knot later at the end of uh, the, the style you'll see here's my bantu knot as you can see I'm leaving my edges out of this I keep my edges on the side I, I don't want to play with my edges too much so again, I'm gonna take my index finger like that, all right? And even my thumb, just secure, to secure that and start to wrap the hair around itself at the base, okay? So you'll get like a little, you know, uh, how do you say, it? spirally curl. <laughs> right. Just doing the same thing, applying some grease. <laughs> Can't help it. And now I'm going to separate my hair and just start applying the oil to my scalp. So for this section,
section, I'm going to do a two strand twist. I'm not going to do a bantu knot because I feel like if this is going this way, it won't be too long where it's covering my eyes, okay? Yeah, that's fine. All right, so this is what the front is looking like so far. I decided to do the two strand twist over here and not do bantu knots because I think I want to go ahead and do the mohawk look tomorrow. Uh, when I take this down, we'll see. I'm not sure yet. But if I do, I feel like this will, you know, hang nicely if I did the two strand twist instead of the bantu knots. So the bantu knots are basically right up in here in the front where the hair goes down. I just don't want hair in my eyes. And I like the curls that it creates. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my hair and install two strand twists. I will not be doing any bantu knots here in the back, in the middle of my hair because I want um, my hair to be stretched. All right. Just apply a generous amount to your hair. Make sure your ends are coated and just start to finger detangle your hair. Then I'm going to take some Jamaican back black castor oil and then apply it to my scalp section of the hair. Okay. And just two strand. Easy. You guys know the drill. Alright, so I have finished installing my uh, twists in the back and middle of my hair. Before I show you guys the back, I am going to now unwind the bantu knots because if I leave the bantu knots like this overnight, they're gonna be um, super shrunken and short because of the tight curls. And I prefer to leave um, this like this overnight only when I'm doing a high puff. So when I want my hair to fall forward on my forehead, and I want it to be a little bit more stretched, but I, um, but I want the curl, I leave the bantu knots literally in for like 30 minutes or so, and then I undo it, okay? I unwind the, the knot. Here's Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take my index finger and my thumb, okay, and just slide the bantu knot down. See, I have the curl that I want and my hair is not super shrunken. It's not, the curls are not too tight. I'm going to do the same here. See how easy that was? Ooh, look at, look at this curl. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And everything else is, oh, I forgot one right here. All right, I'm gonna tie my hair up and I'll be back in the morning for the takedown. Okay, it's the next morning, my face is done and I am ready to take down the style. All right, so gonna start from the back. Um, that's why I like doing the two strand twist because my hair is stretched. And as I take the twist out, I'm going to separate. I'm going to start shaping it and pinning. A bit of edge control. Okay, guys, and this is the final look. Mohawk popping. Look at that highlight, though. <laughs> Make sure you guys the back. Trying to make sure you can't see the parts, my crooked parts. Okay, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. And all the products that I use today to achieve this hairstyle will be listed in my description box. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. And follow me on all of my social media, including Snapchat, especially Instagram. All of those details will be listed in my description box as well. All right, you guys have a great day. Until next time, bye.